Hey guys, what's up? This is Kazi from CleverProgrammer.com. How do you make money in weird ways? How do you hire somebody to run errands for you the entire month? Let's talk about it. So... I, this is a question that kind of nobody asked me, but I want to answer it anyways because I think that everybody could use some help with this and, uh, you know, and maybe even learn something. I don't know. So uh, one of the things that have helped me so much in life is just being very flexible um, and always trying to dig deeper rather than say like, like just I can't or use words like wish, which I think, um, I'm, you know, I talked about in one of the videos. So you have to dig deeper than can't and um, I wish right like when it comes to can't words like can't you just stop right there I want to be able to do this but I can't you just stop right there you are unable to kind of dig and dive deeper into it and find a solution you just limit yourself so let me give you an example uh, let's start with my first story of how I just a few minutes before this hired um, somebody to run errands for me for the entire month wouldn't it be nice for you to be sitting at your job or your school and somebody gets you the food that you wanted from wherever either your home or they picked up food for you from a restaurant your favorite Thai fried rice I love Thai fried rice or you forgot your equipment somewhere or you forgot your laptop somewhere and now you have to drive back five hours, not five hours, 30 minutes, but you can't because you're in the middle of something. So you need it. So I think this is something everybody could use help with. Somebody who can run groceries for you, someone who can run errands for you, whatever. How did I go about doing it? How did I hire somebody for one month? Okay, so I found, like I, I did a lot of research found the website that lets you hire people that run tasks for you. This person's hourly rate for a task was $38 an hour, which is <laughs> a lot, right? That's that's a lot. So how are you going to afford this person for one whole entire month? Um, that's not the question I let myself, like that's the question I asked how I didn't go, that's way too much and just stop looking. A lot of you would stop looking right there and even me a few weeks ago or maybe a few months ago would stop looking right there but I've stopped doing that so I was like okay no this is the person I want this is the person who looks like I can trust to have good reviews this is the person I want to run errands for me so I messaged them and I said hey you know how's it going blah blah um, this is the errand I need to run can you do it he said yes I said, give me a uh, shoot, give me a call. Um, when do you have time? He said, I have I have some time in like two minutes. I said, okay. I got I jumped on a call with him. Right as the call started, I said hello to him, introduced myself. I said, I'm a crazy YouTuber who does coding. Um, apparently, people love it, so thank you, you guys. Um, and uh, he said, oh, you know, wow, like that's so random that there could be people who have followers for being a coder and we just kind of hit it off, uh, off had a good conversation and then I said hey look um, I'm looking for somebody who can do this not just for one time but over and over again because realistically I'm starving even right now I'm starving like I'm in my office and I'm making videos for you guys it's 7 p.m. and I haven't had food since like 9 a.m. And this is like this happened. This has been happening so much recently, because for me to get out of here and do something takes like two hours and then come back. And in the meantime, I can be making more content, more videos, more amazing stuff for you guys. Um, you know, either writing you guys interesting emails that you want to open and read. If you're on my uh, email list by joining Clever Programmer or making videos for you guys or whatever it is, right? I have to keep busting out content. Like this can't stop. So going to a place just to get food cost me time high levels of productivity it takes me a long time to get back into uh into the zone so what's my solution i got to hire somebody who can do it for me 
well, why if their price is forty dollars an hour or thirty something dollars an hour, how do I afford them? Because if they're constantly doing this, that's way too much. That's very expensive. I want this person to be able to do this seven times a week, five to seven times a week. Like grab me food. So that would cost I don't know what what would that cost? Let's let's do the math. Let's say I want them to come run an errand one time. I'm gonna do the math right here on my computer. Forty times seven times four that's like one thousand hundred and twenty dollars every month like that's ridiculous it's over twelve thousand dollars a year so that thought crossed my mind because i can do calculations kind of fast but i'm like i'm not gonna let that stop me so after i jumped on the call with him i said hey look this is not a realistic budget for me but before uh i continue on the budget Here's what I would like to do. I'm willing to be flexible because I know you're running errands for other people as well. And so that would be helpful to you. Notice what I'm doing. Okay. Notice this. This is very strategic um, because I'm trying to offer him something of value and I'm trying to speak from his perspective. If I just say, hey, look, it's not going to fit in with my budget. I'm a student, blah, blah, blah. He's going to be like, dude, I don't want to work with you he's not going to talk about anything after that. He's just like, I'm going to do an hourly rate. So I said, hey, look, I am willing to be flexible. You can come here anytime. So let's say that you're running an errand for other people and you're swinging by O'Hare Airport. You can come to the office. You can come to my office. And since there's no time restriction, you can really make it fit in with your schedule. So it will almost be like really easy for you and he said wow he goes that's great thank you so much i said also i am looking for somebody who can do this for an entire you know uh an entire month that would be awesome so i'm like is there a weekly or a monthly retainer that we could discuss that got his interest that got him talking and he's like yeah that seems pretty interesting maybe we can think about that so i said Okay, um, I, and I said, look, I want this retainer to be seven times, seven times a week, like you know, every single day. Uh, but realistically, man, a lot of the times I'm not gonna need it every single day. Like I, there are gonna be weeks where you only come in once or twice. So basically, it's gonna be like a little bit of extra cash for you once in a while. Um, but I would just like to have the security and have somebody that I could trust. Again, that's very valuable for him because again i'm thinking from his perspective so he's thinking wow already he's such an easygoing client i'm get, he's helping me kind of have a monthly rate because usually when people have lock in a monthly rate it's really nice because he's thinking okay guaranteed my phone service is paid off guaranteed my netflix is paid off guaranteed my hulu is paid off whatever Already, this is really nice for him. Then he's also thinking, okay, this client is thinking of my travel, which he's made so easy. So that objection is gone. He's so flexible. And, oh, look, he might actually not even be calling me once in a while. And I might just be actually making money without even going. So there's already all these amazing bonuses that he's thinking about. Ultimately, I said, hey, look, I'm, I'm, I can do this for $150 uh, a month. And uh, what do you think about that? You know, is that something that sounds reasonable to you? And if it doesn't, you know, let me know. Uh, we can we can go week by week. I can pay you. I can pay you in advance, and then we can take it from there. And by the sound of it, I have to still hear from him. Tomorrow is going to be the first day he's going to deliver and run an errand for me. So for one hundred fifty dollars a month, I have a full on personal assistant or an errand runner uh, and that is very useful because I respect and value my time and my time is you know like what that one hour the two hours or one hour he would save me every day is massive because a lot of people just miss value like devalue their time and misjudge it because when you're not here when you're doing something else for two hours or one hour it's not like you're just doing that thing for one hour you're not thinking about how it's affecting your productivity one or two hours before that because let's say you have to do something at two when you're when it's 12 p.m 
Are you willing to really get into something that's massive when you know you have to do something like at 2 p.m.? You're not. You're just distracted by the thought of something coming up. So that thing that's happening at 2 p.m. is really affecting your productivity since 12 p.m. or 11 a.m. And then after you come back, now you're tired. You got to get back in the zone. It's going to take you a few hours again. So even if you're doing something at 2 to 3, it's not just taking up one hour. In terms of productivity, it's taking like five hours of your time, four to five hours of your time. Like it's massive. At least for me, it's massive. I mean, maybe some of you guys just come in and like shift gears like that. I can't do that. So there you go. Full on person. Again, I had to think outside of the box for this. I, you know, this stiffness that we have nowadays in society, like everybody I talk to is just so stiff. And I feel like it's my service to say this to you guys because these things are helping me so much. And I guarantee you, everybody's going to laugh at you first when you do this. Like, I'm just used to it now. Everybody, like when I tell this first time to anybody, like friends, they're going to be like, wow, you're stupid. You're paying this much. I just went from having to pay $1,200 to $150. And the stuff that I could do in that time, trust me, is going to make way more than $150. Even if it didn't, I would do it for my personal enjoyment because it's just saved me so much time and pain. So in terms of like restricting yourself and thinking in these, you know, boxes, it's really important to get out of it because it can be devastating for you, you know, like money, right? Another one of the questions that another one of the things that I mentioned in the start of the video is weird ways to make money. Look at how creative this guy is for making money for running errands. Somebody was just, I, I told you guys, somebody on the email was like, I don't know if I can teach some beginner programming. They don't want to pay me because I'm shy or whatever, and I don't think they'll pay me. This guy's making money, like $30 an hour or $40 an hour, literally, literally driving from point A to point B. If you're 16 or 15 and you can't drive, there's something wrong with you. Like, it's the easiest thing, right? So for driving, he's charging $40 an hour. Uh, another thing that I saw was like snow removal. People are charging $60 an hour, $50 an hour for snow removal. So don't tell me that you can't find people to teach programming. There's just so many ways to make money. There's so many different ways I have been making money doing these things my whole life. Like to me, this is just natural. Like for everybody else, when I talk to them, like for me, <laughs> I get, uh, a lot of things and The academic world are like rocket science, but you know, eh. But for me, like this stuff comes really naturally to me. So I hope that this can help you. Like wherever, whatever position you're in, this is something helpful. Let's say you're a college student. Somebody runs errands for you and does all this for $150 a month. You can use that time that's saving you to do private lessons, to do somebody else's snow removal for a higher price, to uh, help somebody run errands like their groceries or whatever. There's a website called TaskRabbit, which allows you to actually charge for these services. Like, there's just a bajillion ways to make money, and programming is a really, really massive one. It just comes down to you actually hustling, finding the people, uh, and making this happen. And again, for me, the bigger things here are freedom. And the willingness to say no and uh, willingness to not say no and always try to say yes in my head. And it it transcends above money and transcends above jobs or whatever else. This is how I do things in real life. I was scared shitless of skydiving. And I didn't say I can't skydive. I said, okay, to skydive, what do I need to do? So I would do small things that helped me get over my fear. And then I went and skydived last year. Uh, Being in the dark and closing my eyes scared me. So I um, went into a sensory deprivation chamber and then ended up surviving that for one hour. And then that helped me get past so many of my fears. So again, it's not limited to just money or whatever. Guys, the camera is dying. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to cut this one short. But there are different ways to make money, different ways to think outside the box. You can make partnerships as long as just just stop saying can't, wish. Just make it happen. Think. I promise you guys can do more. And college is not the only resource, just one of the resources. That's another way 
people restrict themselves like oh i'm just gonna learn from here learn from multiple resources i'm not discouraging academic knowledge i am discouraging handicapping your own brain okay be entrepreneurial in everything in life it's not just about money it's about education money and the lifestyle okay you can be entrepreneurial in all different kinds of ways guys that's it i'm out this is kazi i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video